Hello, I'm Alex 110 and uh, sorry I'm late. And I said I'm going to do reviews on a Friday, but um, I was actually out on Friday, so that in turn made me very hungover on Saturday. Um, and Sunday I don't really do anything at all. I barely even open my eyes. I just eat a lot. So um, I'm doing it today. You'll still have a review on this Friday, but this is a little bit pushed back, this one. So as I said, yeah, I'm out to 110. I've changed my name because thanks to the lovely Kate, subscriber of mine, she suggested that it doesn't really tell people what you do, so I'm now out to 110 fragrance reviews, just in case you didn't know. So, um, today I'm reviewing Versace's Crystal Noir, and I've got quite a lot to say about this one because I've been asked quite a lot of times to review this one, and all of the times I've been asked, I've never owned it. I hadn't even smelled it at the time. How do I let this one slip past me is all I can say because I've fallen head over heels in love with it so I'm glad that I actually have it now myself. The entire Versace crystal line, you know the bright crystal and then the yellow crystal I think it is maybe, I've just never really thought to smell any of them. You know when you go into a perfume shop and I, I don't know about you but I'm like a kid in a candy shop and I just get overwhelmed and sometimes things get overlooked. I was really never attracted to the really oversized lids, I just thought it was a really stupid looking bottle which proves to me that that's dumb because I shouldn't have never done that because now I've found this amazing perfume. Um, I actually found it though um, through somebody at work, I've been suggested to review it before but somebody at work, Sonia, hi by the way Sonia, I'll see you tomorrow, make sure you sleep well tonight, otherwise uh, we'll be in trouble tomorrow if we we're tired at work. Um, she actually had it and she sits next to me and, you know, as I said millions of times before, it often takes me to smell something on someone else before I actually notice it. And this one, I loved straight away. I was, I was what, what is that? I need to know what it is and I could smell it in the hallways after she walked out. Um, I'm reviewing the EDP version or the Eau de Parfum. It does come in Eau de Toilette and I've never smelled that one. Uh, apparently they they are quite different, not quite different, but it's not just a case of this one being stronger than that. There are um, composition differences, so I wish I had both so I could compare them for you, but I don't. Maybe in the future. So it's an Oriental floral. It came out in two thousand and four. Where have I been? <laughs> How have I <laughs> missed this for ten years? I have no idea, but I did. But I have it now, so it's fine. Um, here's the box. Mine's the 90ml one, of course I'm going to get the biggest one, I, I have to, just in case it runs out. It's just a really shiny black box, um, and for the record I haven't smelled the pink one or the yellow one, so there could be two more gems sitting there for me, I'm going to have to make an effort to smell them. Um, yeah, Versace Crystal Noir. Eau de Parfum, it's got the uh, lovely detailed lady thing on the top, on the back it says blah 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 stuff about what's in it and it's got something in Chinese that I couldn't possibly decipher. Um, here's the bottle. I'm still not a fan of the bottle at all. I, I just think it's really silly looking. It just looks really top heavy and weird and yeah it's like that. Really small bottle, really massive lid. The lid's actually what I think is pretty cool. has the, I don't know if you can see it, but it has the Versace, it's like a coin just under the surface of the plastic, because it is, it is plastic, um, that's detailed. It's actually really pretty to look at. It kind of glistens a little bit, which is always fun. Yeah. That's it. Um, I will say, this sprays out a really healthy amount of perfume, and it's not like a jet, like some perfumes. It really spreads it quite far onto your skin, which I think adds to the fact that it's very strong, because you get a lot on you in one spray. So. Um, yeah, so what's in it? So the top notes are um, pepper, cardamom and ginger, sounds like a curry. The heart notes are coconut, which is a massive player in this perfume, gardenia, which is also another massive player, orange blossom and peony, and then the base is amber, sandalwood and musk. Three very typical notes there, but the notes in this create some sort of magic. I think it's absolutely amazing, I'm not going to lie. Um, I just wish I'd found it earlier. So, what does it smell like? Oh, it smells beautiful. 
I just I just love it so much. I'll firstly say that the strength of this, it's you know, this gets a lot of love online. The reviews are glittering for the most part about this fragrance, and now I see why. Um, this is a fragrance that, although to me it has a light smell, it's doesn't it's not very full full on. It is a very strong perfume, um, and it does last a hell of a long time. This one does, and it projects quite far. So it's worth the money. I actually got this with money that I got for my birthday, so that's a really good purchase for me. So what does it smell like? Oh, it's this is it's. The main thing in this is coconut, so coconut, I, I've got other fragrances with coconut in them and coconut's always gone on that, people that make coconut perfumes usually tend to go down that obvious route of let's make it smell a little bit beachy, let's make it pair it with pineapple, make it smell sweet and this is hands down my favourite coconut scented perfume I've ever smelled thus far because it's paired together with spicy pepper um, you've got really luscious gardenia in there and it smells very clean it smells kind of high pitched but powdery as well so it's you can smell coconut but it's not that typical what you would think coconut which is exactly why I love it and why I really really just give props to the person that made it I've forgotten the name of the perfumer it was a guy go look it up um, yeah so it's it's very contrasting perfumes can be contrasting it's it's a soft smell overall it's a soft clean powdery coconut but it's very strong like I said it has a pepperiness to it it smells fresh as well somehow I don't know it's an oriental floral but I wouldn't necessarily describe it as floral I mean it kind of is but it's, it's a bit of a difficult one You've got three things in there that add into this powderiness. You've got peony, which is kind of like rose, a little bit sweeter, I think. Um, you've got sandalwood and amber, both are quite powdery notes. So that's what's giving this its powdery, light feel, even though it's very strong, like I said, a million times. Um, noir. The fact that it's noir, yes, it's not noir in the way of it being a very dark, mysterious night timey scent I think it's just noir because it is it's a little bit dark but I, I reckon you could wear this in day in the daytime if you just kind of sprayed a bit on um, although I usually over spray anyway and just knock people out which is really bad you don't want to be around me sometimes but yeah it's it's just really beautifully blended and it's not it doesn't change very much which I'm really thankful for it doesn't transition into something crazy half an hour down the line. It does from wet to drying become a lot more woody which is when I absolutely love it. It has this gorgeous woody tone to it. It's like a very, it's kind of like a sharp exotic soft coconut, sharp soft, very juxtaposed but sometimes perfumes can smell about three things at once. It can be sweet, sour, powdery strong, soft, invisible, strong, it can just be everything. And this one, although it stays quite linear, it does have all of those elements. So that's pretty much all I can say about it. I mean, I don't really get any orange blossom from it. Gardenia to me smells a lot like jasmine. This is lighter than what jasmine would be. It's The coconut must just soften it a little bit in some way. And amber is a very softening note as well, and powdery, like I said. So. It feels overall, when you smell it in the air, like a strong, clean, powdery coconut. A little bit of darkness going on, and it's just amazing. I love it. So, that is my, I guess that was kind of short, review of Crystal Noir by Versace. And people have asked me to do it, so I'm glad I've got to do it eventually. Um, and I'm going to really enjoy wearing this. It's summer still, but I'm going to still wear it anyway. Oh, it's just gorgeous. So that's it. I'll see you guys on Friday for another review. I think it's going to be a niche brand review on Friday. Maybe Black Phoenix. I'm not sure which turn it is. But um, I'll see you guys soon. And I just wanted to say, um, Natalie Patel, if you're watching this, congratulations again for being the winner of my giveaway. Oh. Damn camera cut me off. I'm so good at that. I have an eight, nine minute limit and it's hard to see when you haven't got eyes around there. Anyway, Natalie, congratulations. I'll be sending them off very soon. 
and um, you guys can click down here to subscribe if you like. Um, and I'll see you on Friday. Thanks for watching as always. Goodbye.